Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford, we'll be creating marbled baubles. You will need clear plastic baubles, acrylic paint and disposable cups. It's important that for this art project you use a plastic bauble rather than a glass one because of what we'll be doing with it. But the first thing you'll need to do is pull out the top of the bauble and pop this to one side for now. We'll come back to using that later so don't lose it. And then you're going to need to get a plastic cup or a paper one and cut down the bottom section. So you're going to cut around this bottom rim because it gets narrower as it gets to the base of the cup and that's the bit that we're after so that the bauble will sit in there just like this so that the cup supports it rather than the ball falling in the cup if that makes sense. Then using the base of the cup that you've just cut sit your bauble with the hole facing upwards so it supports the bauble for you and then you're going to fill the bauble about a fifth of the way with paint no more than about a quarter of the way and you're going to want to include white paint no matter what other colours you use because the white paint will keep a light and dark balance of colours so I've gone for white, green, red and gold for this one so fairly traditional Christmas colours but you can go for whichever colours you'd like to of course A tip is to keep layering up the colours, so use the same colours that you just used, so red, green, gold and white for myself. Keep layering them up until you're a fifth of the way at the ball ball and this will help the colours mix a bit better on the next step. So there are a couple of different ways that you can get your colours to move around the ball ball for this part. You can either tap it against the table or you can do what I've done during this example and use your hands to tap against the ball ball. You just want to tap it and keep rotating using your other hand so that your one hand is moving the paint around and the other hand is moving the ball ball itself around. That way the paint keeps traveling around the ball ball and you can cover all of the surface area as much as you can. Really get the paint from the bottom of the ball ball to the top of the ball ball. You need to tilt the top part with the opening down towards the table, just be careful that paint doesn't pour out. When you think you have covered all of the surface area of the bauble with paint, as you can see I've got this lovely marble pattern all the way around, tip it upside down and pop it in your cup. You then need to leave the bauble to dry for a couple of days. Here is some video footage of some ones that have been drying for a couple of days. You'll see that any excess paint um, from inside the bauble has seeped out the bottom and that's why we have the cup to catch it. And finally you can add the top part to the bauble. Usually this has two prongs on like on here. So you squeeze those together and then pop it through the hole of the bauble. Just be careful because the paint might still be a bit tacky. And also this can be a bit fiddly for smaller fingers so adult help might need to be on hand. You will also need to add the string, thread it through the hole and add a knot at the top so this can then be hung on the tree. You could also swap this out for some ribbon if you'd rather make it look a bit prettier. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this on a Monday and other art related content every now and then. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford.